All right, this is problem 37 in chapter 8, and we've got a slingshot hurling a stone off a cliff, and it's throwing the stone from the edge of the cliff 20 meters above the base of the cliff, and it lands down below. And it's fired horizontally, which is key. Uh, and we want to know the angular speed of the stone at the moment of release. So we're looking for omega, and we can make some assumptions here that we have to. Okay, first of all, we're in free fall. So a free body diagram can just be a force of weight going down, which tells me not angular stuff, just linear stuff. Acceleration in the y is negative 9.8, and acceleration in the x is zero because we're in free fall, so old stuff. Here's my picture. I got my 20 meter cliff. There's my stone going down like that, and I've labeled x. And they told me the problem that x is 30 times the radius about which this thing um, is spinning. Okay, so this, we got the stone, it's doing one of these, and we've got x, that horizontal distance, is supposed to be 30 times that. Oh, let me double check here. I'm on 37. 30 times the radius circle on which the stone is whirled. Yeah, so the stone going around, we've got x equals 30 r. We're trying to figure out what is that omega if this is going to happen. Okay, so we got the stone going around in some radius r, and we're trying to figure out what that value for omega is. Well, some general ideas here. Tangential velocity equals r omega. And we're trying to find omega. And the tangential velocity, the connection here to the projectile problem stuff, is whatever that tangent, tangential velocity is, um, will be our velocity when this stone is released, and then it becomes the projectile problem. So it's like Mario Ball swinging around my head, I let go, turns into a projectile problem, whatever that tangential velocity is, becomes that horizontal velocity in the x direction for the projectile. When the x direction, there's no acceleration, so we get to use this, x equals vt. Now there's a problem, we don't have time, so we're gonna have to get some expression for time, so I'm gonna list my five variables and see what we can deal with here. Well, the initial on the y is zero. Acceleration is negative 9.8. Displacement is negative 20. Hey, we're in luck. We can use this, we can use an equation here because we don't care about v final. So y minus y naught, v naught t, plus one half a t squared. This goes away. We get negative 4.9 times t squared equals negative 20. And we're going to get a value for t of something. Let's do 20 divided by 4. Oh, again, really? Something is wrong with my device. Uh, let's see here. Clear it again. Just did this a second ago. And now i got to remember I'm, I'm back in radians. If I need to do anything with that, hopefully I'll remember. Uh, so we get 20 divided by 4.9 to the one half power, same difference taking the square root of both sides, and we get a time of, a hang time of 2.02 seconds. And this is important because now I'm gonna to connect to the x direction so I can get my vx, which is my vt in this problem, the way they have it set up. So my horizontal component of my velocity for my projectile problem is my tangential velocity of this thing being whirled around when they let go. All right, so I'll plug back in. Uh, and I'm going to use x now because they told us that x equals 30r. So we have x equals my tangential velocity. Go ahead and make the substitution times, let's just call it 2 seconds. Let's make that 2 seconds. And for x, I can put in 30r, so we're almost there. So 30r equals vt times 2. And solve for vt. I'm going to get 30r over 2. Or, oh, we should have units on that. So this is seconds. So my VT uh, is 30R, excuse me, is 15R, and the units are S to the negative 1 or over seconds. It might be a little weird looking, but that's because remember R has units of meters, so this will end up being meters per second. Plug that back into my original equation, and I think we're home free. So we'll have uh, 15 times R, and that's in over seconds. And for clarity purposes, let's write that a little different. 15 R. Here's my units of seconds. Let's make a little note here. This is units uh, equals, or excuse me, that's my VT. That times, oh no, that equals, yep, back, back to this equation. That equals R times omega. And lo and behold, the R's cancel out. The units make sense now. We have omega equals, we're in radians, 15 radians per 
second. Let's double check, make sure that's right. Yeah, they got 14.8. Same difference, a little bit of rounding there. So again, the idea being here, a quick little recap. We have a projectile problem, and that VX that it's launched at, because this thing is being whirled around, it's a Mario ball swinging uh, above my head, I let go. That VX, when I let go, it takes off to the right. That VX is the tangential velocity. And the tangential velocity equals R omega, and they gave me a way to relate R of what that thing was swinging around in the circle to x, the horizontal distance it went from another clip. Then you do a projectile problem and relate the equations. If you have any questions, feel free to stop by if you want a recap on that or additional sample problems.